Hello everyone and welcome to how to install Realism Overhaul in Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1. Realism Overhaul is a set of mods that introduces realistic fuels, real shoots, and other realism aspects into the game, including potentially if you choose to use real solar system with it, uh, scales up the regular system, the Kerbal system, into our actual solar system with Earth and all. And so you can make get a pretty realistic simulation of rocketry and space adventures. Uh, so it does require a certain set of mods. You can install these via CCAN, which is a utility to install mods into Kerbal Space Program. However, I don't install things using CCAN in general. I've never done so. So I'm going to show you how to install it manually, and this is to troubleshoot it in case CCAN has a problem if you try to install Realism Overhaul via CCAN and it doesn't work for some reason, you should uh, be able to go through this process and get a good installation. So, in order to go through this process, it would be helpful for you to have two web pages open. Uh, the first is the Realism Overhaul GitHub. And I'll post these links in the video description. This is github.com slash ksp-ro. And then also the forum page, uh, which is just the forum page at, in add-on releases on forum.kerbalspaceprogram.com. And, uh, well, we are going to install the dependencies first and then some of the recommended mods. Note that Real Solar System is recommended, not a requirement. So, in theory, you can use these mods with other uh, solar systems. So, if you choose to use them with a uh, 6.4 scale system, you could do that or something else. But we're going to go in order. And first, of course, we need a base install of Kerbal Space Program. So here I have, I've installed it into a new folder. If you have it via Steam, you might want to copy everything into a new folder, not use the actual Steam installation. You can do that because Kerbal Space Program doesn't write in anything into the registry. So it's not going to be picky about where it is. I don't know about the Steam installations, though. They could be finicky. I have my... Um, Kerbal Space Program with the website, so I just download a zip from the website and unzip everything into a folder. This does include the DLCs, so I've got those in here. But uh, I also copied a settings file from another install because I want my joystick settings the same. So, given that, we go into the game data folder and we're going to go in order. So, advanced jet engines. We're just going to go to the GitHub and I'm going to look through for Advanced Jet Engines. It's AJE. I'm going to, well, I'm not opening a new window. Just open a new tab. We're going to go to Releases. This whole process is the same as it's been for other versions. So if you've done this before, it's not changed. But we'll just, uh, maybe it's good to review the process. But we're going to download this. And you should have a special download folder for each version of Kerbal Space Program. And then you can see all this stuff, just copy all this stuff and put it into the game data folder. Next is Ferm Aerospace Research Continued. So we look here. And we're looking here because sometimes the forum threads, the links are busted or something. But in this case uh, here, it takes us straight to the GitHub anyway. And we're going to go to download this. And so this is far. 0.15.111.2 and I'm not going to copy the module manager because it's a lesser version than the one we have here. I'm just going to copy the other two. Next, module manager we've already got. Modular flight integrator came with uh, Fair Mirror Space, I believe. Yes, so we don't need to get that separately. The solver engine plugin comes with advanced jet engines, so that's already included. The next one we actually need is Kerbal Joint Reinforcement. I'm going to check whether it's here. Here it is. So again, we want the most recent version and in game that Kerbal Joint Reinforcement like this. Okay, so next, Rio Shoots. And looks like 1.7 compatibility is the best we can do. Uh, hopefully that will not cause any problems. Sometimes they need to be recompiled for the current version though. Okay, so we've got Rio Shoots here. And copy. And next is real fuels. That's most important. 
that's basically what a lot of stuff is built around. Uh, Real Fuels basically gives Realism Overhaul its purpose. Realism Overhaul, the mod itself, just modifies the engines and other parts to suit Real Fuels. Mainly that's the, that's the job of Realism Overhaul. So we'll eventually install Realism Overhaul after we've got all this other stuff in. Interesting, they don't have the real fuels on here, so I guess it's its own thing again. It's curious which uh, which mods are kept on their own management and which ones are part of the realism overhaul family, if you will. But here we go, real fuels. A little bit worrisome to me when it's 1.7. You know what? Um, well, I hope. I have not actually had the pleasure of putting an install of Realism Overhaul together in 1.8.1 .1, and that's because I was testing, uh, shall we say, testing builds uh, from somebody else, from Raider Nick. <laughs> so, uh, this is actually my first time putting it together, which you can tell from the fact that I'm actually downloading these mods for the first time. So it's, it's legit, this is a legit process. Community Resource Pack. Um, I don't. Yeah, we already got that from Real Fuels. It's required for Real Fuels. Real Heat is definitely under the Realism Overhaul umbrella. And I think it's on page two. Okay, Real Heat. It's just a temperature model. It modifies how heating works in the stock game. All right, so we've got Real Heat. Real Plume. Now, uh, really, we should put Real Plume in after Smokescreen. And it has Smokescreen RO, so there's probably a special RO Smokescreen hanging out somewhere. Okay, well, I'm just gonna click this one. Well, that's helpful. <laughs> Alright, so that's, that's not there, and so we're gonna go ahead and. I'm gonna click on real plumes. Oh, and I was hoping it'd go to the forum thread. Okay, we are going to search smoke screen. Okay, so we have smoke screen here. Hopefully, it is not too weird. In other words, I'm I'm worried about the fact that it says smoke screen dash R O. It looks like they were they had a special build for for uh, two point eight point one one, which is interesting because that's not a build that is listed here. <laughs> you can see the change log two point eight point one one isn't here. That's uh, oh fun. Let's go to GitHub for it and see if there's one hanging out like that. Well, this releases thread doesn't have anything near the version that we're supposed to have. Oh, this GitHub... Okay. Five years ago. Yeah, that's not that's not gonna work for us. Okay. Well, we're gonna take the latest version of Smokescreen and see what happens. But we'll keep in mind that that's interesting. That may be a problem. Alright, so we've got Smokescreen. And then we're gonna get real plumes. Okay, so that's real plume. And that's done for the dependencies. So now we get to install Realism Overhaul itself. <laughs> Let, don't forget that part. So we've got Realism Overhaul here. And releases. And we can see the release we're looking for and all the changes that they've made. If you're ever wondering why it takes so long to get Realism Overhaul updated, that's part of it. So you'll notice I'm not getting the ships generally, but in this case, if you're planning to use either Raider Nix mods or FASA or Tentaris, you may want to copy these ships into the install. There's also a Beechcraft Bonanza for some reason. And ships of course go out here. So let's uh, go ahead and drag that. 
And I'll take the liberty of deleting the stock ones, which we can easily uh, determine by sorting by date. And we're gonna get rid of the, all the stock. Oops, uh, all the stock ones will have the same date. And there we go. So taking a look at what these mods do right now, Advanced Jet Engines handles your jet engines and modifies them to work with real fuels and makes them real jet engines and changes the name and everything. Community Resource Packs at Pack handles all the different resources different mods need. So Real Fuels works with Community Resource Pack and uh, that's why um, that comes with Real Fuels. So the kerosene, hydrogen, oxygen, all those things that Real Fuels is gonna work with, they're all embedded in Community Resource Pack under the Common Resources file. And then Real Fuels itself changes the tanks. So you can see all the tank configurations here for all the different mods, and it changes those tanks. But then Realism Overhaul also changes tanks. So what happens is Realism Overhaul will change these mods so that the tanks that aren't configured by Real Fuels are configured by this, and also it modifies the engines. So that's what Realism Overhaul does. It modifies the engines, changes the pods to make sure that they have life support and and uh, fuels in the, the right mass for the pods. And if they're Apollo, they're, you know, suiting Apollo and doing Apollo things. And also changes the plumes. So it has real plume configs here. And it has a whole bunch of engine configs here. And these are sort of global engine configurations for all sorts of real engines. So that's mainly what Realism Overhaul does. Then Real Shoot, as you can tell, is for parachutes. Uh, real fuels we talked about. Real heat is the heating and plumes, that's that stuff. And uh, Solver Engines comes with AJE, incredible joint reinforcement people normally know, and firm aerospace is for the aerodynamics. So uh, that's what they do, and so if there's a problem, you know what to go to uh, and make sure that you can fix it. So given this, we probably want to be in the solar system. So real solar system is here as well. I'm going to assume that you're going to use Realism Overhaul with the solar system. So we download Real Solar System. And we also download RSS Textures. Ah, oh, there it is. RSS Textures. And I will just go ahead and get the most intense package available here. Though you may want to use lighter weight textures or mix and match. One thing you can do is you can download them and you can use the most intense textures for Earth and Mars or, and the Moon, for instance, and then lesser ones for other worlds. So I'm going to download this one. We are going to unzip Real Solar System. We will also need Copernicus. Real, uh, real solar system requires Copernicus. That's one problem with uh, going through either this way, the GitHub way, or even going through like this. I note that it doesn't label Copernicus as a requirement, but uh, since it included solver engines and module flight integrator, even though they're included already in those mods, um, probably they should have put Copernicus in here or put it in parentheses beside Real Solar System to remind people. Um, there probably ought to be some way of uh, making sure people get Copernicus. But anyway, we'll get Copernicus. I, I don't know if the GitHub here has Copernicus especially. Yeah, it does. So it's got Copernicus here, but uh, that's a fork that's probably delayed. Yeah, uh, so we'll get from the forum. So once again, we'll type in Copernicus. And here's Copernicus. And here's the Copernicus GitHub. 1.8.1, very good. So real solar system, Copernicus, 
Copernicus has module flight integrator, but we already have that in, and also we already have the module manager. And of course, RSS textures. So oh, I, I downloaded it as uh, just 8192. Should be the same one. This one seems a little bit older. I'll go with the newer one just to make sure we have the same things. So RSS textures goes in here. And if you did want to replace the textures with lesser textures, let's say you wanted the 4096 textures, I would keep the Earth ones the same. But maybe some of these other worlds, you could go into this folder and say, okay, well, I want Arial to be not so intense. I don't need the high level textures for it. Well, now we have an install of Realism Overhaul. And it is with great trepidation that I am going to try and start it up. So that's that should be all you need. If I've done something wrong, we'll find out soon enough. Okay, we do have some warnings here that I'm concerned about. Uh, we've got three that say incompatible with 1.8.1 .1 and one that says incompatible with Unity, which is the real shoot. Okay, so it was my mistake. There is a version for 1.8. So instead of following the link here, uh, this will give you go straight to a particular version. That's wrong. Um, instead, well, let me show you. You can right click on there, open that tab. Just click on real shoots and then click on releases. And then we'll get uh, not the 1.9 one, we'll get the 1.8 one. And so there's 1.4.7.5. And let's make sure to do that for the other things that it warned us about. Let's see if real fuels, uh, modular fuel system, click on it, releases. Uh, this one for 1.8. All right, uh, close Kerbal. So there is one for 1.8 here. Okay, and it would appear that Ferramercy's research also has a more updated version, 1.8. So instead of using the 15.11.2, we're going to use this 15.11.3, which says updated to KSP 1.8. Okay, so going through, delete the original folder. Do not overwrite, and we'll delete modular flight integrator as well. And then we'll copy these over, and we don't need module manager, that's an older version. And then we want to do that for real shoots and real fuels. So those links on the forum page probably ought to go to the releases page and not a specific version. That would be a good idea for anybody who's updating that in the future. But so real fuels instead of 12.8.4, we want 12.8.4.1. And community resource pack, well, we'll just replace everything with it. So community resource pack and solver engines also have to be deleted, and then we'll copy these. Okay. So again, uh, if it looks like the mod that the mod link from here goes to a specific version that's not your version of KSP, it's it's actually tough to tell here. Like this fair mirror space research, it doesn't actually say which version it's for. But then maybe just for all the mods. Click on this, the title of the mod here, and then click on releases. And then when you're scrolling through this releases page, I look for update to KSP 1.8. And so we see that here, and that's the version that you want. This version was the one that we downloaded before. It didn't say which version it was for. Um, but if we go down to the previous time it said that it was updated for something, it says 1.7. So that means this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one should be assumed to be for 1.7 and then 1.8, and then this says 1.9, so 1.9 and 1.9, okay? So, well, lesson learned. Let's just start up KSP once again. And this time we don't get any warnings at the start, which is good. Okay, so we're through the loading. It was only 6,926 module manager patches and it shouldn't be doing anything with Kerbin. We should see Earth when it loads. Okay, 
uh, we see the breaking ground. Oh, I didn't install the breaking ground expansion. I just did making history. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, so it's telling me about that. There are no other warnings. We do clearly see Earth in the background, and uh, it is using 3.3 gigs of RAM at the moment. So for reference, that's not too bad. Now we don't have RSS visual enhancements in. Uh, so start new sandbox. I'll just start it. And we'll uh, just uh, go through and check that there's no obvious problems. Okay, we are looking good. We should be at Cape Canaveral by default. And indeed, that is where we are. Now we have not added the ability to have other launch sites. We also haven't done RSS visual enhancements. So we'll add those optional things in in a moment. But you should, at this point, check that all these mods are working properly. So, among things that you should see are the electric charge measured in kilowatts for everything. And um, you should, when you go into the fuel tanks, see the modular fuel tank for all your favorite fuel tanks and your selection of fuels. So that when you click it and you right click it, show tank UI. That's taking a little bit longer than it usually does. I guess it's a first time blues sort of thing. You can pick which fuel you want to put in a tank. And so that is how that's supposed to work. Well, we can keep that tank out. And then our engines should not be using liquid fuel and oxidizer. They should all be configured to whatever fuel that they're supposed to be using based on the engine that they are imitating now. And they are all imitating something like this. The F1 engine it uses kerosene and oxygen, so that is correct. It looks like it is its correct size, looking very spiffy. And so this brings up a point. You don't need a whole lot of other part mods, especially with the Making History expansion, to play with Realism Overhaul and Real Solar System. You can use the stock parts plus the Making History expansion. And we'll try that out after I get some clouds in. So, of course, this thread had a number of recommendations here. Hanger extender and uh, procedural parts, procedural fairings. KSC switcher is what gives you the other launch sites. A remote tech I don't use anymore with the stock comms. I'm satisfied with the stock comms. Remote tech uh, put too much overhead on things. Tack life support if you want life support stuff. Um, I test flight only if you're doing career mode, but then you'd have to get RP1, which is a whole other conversation. Uh, B9 procedural wings I would definitely recommend. Deli reentry adds some more heat shields, so uh, keep that in mind. And it modifies certain other things, but it's not as important anymore. Mechjeb, well, Mechjeb is Mechjeb. So we're going to go through this list now on the GitHub, and we're going to see what we might want. Uh, there are a lot of Raider Nix mods, but here's RSS visual enhan enhancements. So if you want the clouds and all, you need this and its requirements. Keep in mind its requirements. See, um, Eve, and of course Real Solar System, and Scatterer. Scatterer is, uh, I don't think it's uh, included in here. So we need the Eve plugins and we need Scatterer. So here's KSE Switcher. You may want RSS Time Formatter. That's not critical at this juncture. So KC Switcher. And we've got Module Manager RSS, and uh, this is RVE. Uh, so we need Eve and Scatterer. So we're going to go over to the forums. Let me close some spare pages here. Scatterer. And we can see Scatter is up to 1.8.1 now. RSS compatibility outdated. Well, don't worry, the configs will be built into RSS visual enhancements. So we can get the space dock one, or we can go to the GitHub. Uh, the GitHub, we see the update for 1.8. And so we also assume that this version is for 1.8 as well. So we can get this version. And we don't need a space stock link. 
and we also needed environmental visual enhancements. If using real solar system mod, you'll need different configurations such as RSS visual enhancements, so we're good. And so we need to install manually. If installing manually, download it, download it from here. And this is what we want. So we've got environmental visual enhancements, unzipped. Don't just download them and forget to unzip them. I might tend to do that sometimes. And here's scatterer. Okay. And so those are the two requirements we need for RSS visual enhancements. So we go to RSS visual enhancements release. Uh, release candidate for 1.7.3. We'll see. <laughs> I'm going to go with the high resolution one. And we'll see if it has any problems. RSS Visual Enhancements itself shouldn't have any plugins. It's just a bunch of configurations. In general, if it's a part mod or just a bunch of configurations, it might work in a version that it's not explicitly suited for. But if it's got a plugin, meaning like in Scatterer, you've got this DLL file. If it's got a DLL file, it probably needs to be recompiled for the version of KSP that you're using, which is the problem that we had for Real Shoot, Real Fuels, and FAR. So that's why we have to get the right versions for those. But there's a chance uh, that's not what I want. And if uh, for some reason you can't find the file that you just downloaded because it's not named correctly in this case, you can sort by date. Okay, but hopefully we'll have clouds with this. Let's try it. Okay, well, we know that RSS Visual Enhancements is not the right in the right version right now. We'll try it anyway. Because I didn't see a more up-to-date version of it available. Oh, I just saw RSS Visual Enhancements does have a plugin. That's why it gave that error. I was so surprised to see an error from it, but yeah, it does. It seems to add something or another to it in the form of a DLL file. Okay, well, if RSS Visual Enhancements was working, we would have clouds over here on at least the top half of Kerbin, not Kerbin, Earth. <laughs> so it may not be working. We can also check if there are clouds like this. There are. Oh, wait, maybe it might be sort of working. Oh, we see some clouds there. Let's take a look at the tracking station. Oh, we've got clouds. Okay, it's fine. It's just on the front screen it wasn't showing. And we have our other launch sites, Wallops and uh, Brownsville and Vandenberg and Kuru and so forth. So, yep, that is working. That's KSC Switcher, of course. And now to test things out, we should build a little rocket. Again, I haven't added any parts packs. We're just using the stock parts. 